Okay, here's where we get rid of the shoe clerks. I'll see your nickel and raise you a quarter. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, come on, Shorty, that's not funny. Can't you control him? Now, if you don't behave, we'll trade you in for a cocker spaniel. Remember that. All right, how about it, Mr. Parker? You in or out? Oh, well, first I gotta ask a question. Um, Four aces better than that full house I had last time. There we go again. Hey, you. Hey, you are, Mr. Put that gun down. Hey, you. <laughs> hey, don't point that at me. He pulls that trigger. Now, now, easy. Easy, shorty. Easy now. <laughs> easy now. You hand over the gun. Hand it over. <laughs> well, those fiends, they're trying to kill me again. Oh, no. Lead bottom. <laughs> Kurt, are you all right? You killers. You shot your captain. You tried to gun me down in cold blood. Sir, sir, look at your hat. Oh, the hole, find the hole. Am I leaking? Carpenter, you'll call a short patrol. No, 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 wait a minute. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now, now, Captain, look. Uh, nobody shot at you, sir. It was just a chimp who swiped Mr. Parker's 45 and it went off by accident, that's all. Yeah, honest, Captain, it wasn't Shorty's fault. He didn't mean to take a shot at you. Now, Shorty, you tell him you're sorry. <laughs> That's chimpanese for I'm sorry. Chimpanese? Parker, you get rid of this furry little delinquent right away, and that's an order. One baboon around here is enough. Give me that hat, that's an order. Give me the hat. Shorty, come back here. Shorty, come... give the hat back. Shorty! Give the hat back. Would you look at that, Carpenter? Would you look at that? Now, there has got to be some way that I can get some incriminating evidence on McHale and his murderers. Some way. Some way. Sir. Huh? Uh, Captain, Captain Binghamton? What? No, I'm General Custer, and I just got back from Little Bighorn. What do you want? What, 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 what? what? Seaman Orville Tuttle reporting for duty, sir. For what? Duty. Duty. Dude, we don't run a kindergarten here. Hey, sir, he's the new crew member for the PT-73. Pete? McHale? He's... This naive, apple-cheeked youth is going to join McHale and that scroungy bunch of cutthroats? Yes, sir, I, I have my orders for you right here, sir. And, oh, and, and Mother sent you these, sir. They're oatmeal cookies. She baked them herself. She baked them herself? Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, no, they're, they're just for you, sir. Will you stop with your mother already? Now, I am not about to send some little infant like you over there to join McHale and his mafia. So you just take your toys and you toddle over to the processing shack. Oh, uh, no, sir, please, please. I, I joined the Navy to see action, sir. I'll, I'll do anything you say, anything. Did you hear that, Carl? Oh. You'll do anything I say. If that isn't the most... The most ridiculous thing I ever heard of, sir. I can see that it's ridiculous Wait to send a, a young Wait, boy like that. Shut up, like shut that. up, shut oh, up. Well, I thought... Oh, I'm not in front of a brave young man. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Son, you say you'll do anything I say to see action? Oh, yes, sir. That, that's all I've dreamed about, sir, since I kissed Mother goodbye and gave her my sugar ration card, sir. Give her your sugar Give her that. Uh, well, boy, I'll tell you, you're going to see action. I am going to make you my personal spy. You're going to infiltrate enemy lines, and you're going to help me get information that'll wipe them out. S -s spy, sir? Well, gosh, I, I don't think I make a very good spy, sir. I, I, they didn't teach us Japanese in boot camp. Said anything about Japanese. I'm talking about the real enemy, Mikhail. Yes, but, sir, I, I only signed up to fight the Japanese, sir. You will fight anybody I tell you to fight. If you don't, that's mutiny. Now I'll have you in front of a firing squad. Firing squad? But, sir, I'm too young to die. I, I haven't even been tattooed yet. Now, stop sniveling, boy. Stop sniveling. You do a good job of spying, and I'll uh, I'll treat you to a tattoo. Get your nice big heart. We'll put it there. We'll put mother on it. Yeah? Get your gear, lad. You're gonna love this. It's gonna be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Come on up here, matey. Uh, welcome aboard, boy. <laughs> I'm your new commanding officer. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Commander Quinn McHale. Seaman Orville Tuttle reporting for duty, sir. Oh, well, now, now, now. Forget that jazz, boy. Yeah, we're very informal around here. Yes, sir. Boys, meet Orvy. <laughs> Thanks, boy. There's nothing to be nervous about. Nervous? I'm not nervous. Oh, what the devil? Hey, Skip, look! <laughs> hey, Chuck, what happened? Oh, I sure he stole my gun, but don't worry. He's only got five shots left. Uh, <clears throat> four. <laughs> oh, VJ Day, where are you? <laughs> Here, give me a hand. Here, will you? Boy, that Orby's really something, oh, isn't Those he? draft boards are sure robbing the crazy. Hey, Orville. 
He made us wait out here while he gets dressed. What? <laughs> Must be an only child. Hey, Skip, do we have to keep him? Why don't we put him up for adoption, huh? Yeah, now, wait right. a minute, you guys. Just a minute. Look, this is his first time in a war zone. He's a little spooked up. Ah, oh, the kid's gonna be fine. Oh, yeah. Holy mackerel, I forgot all about it. Tonight's Lou out here. Wait a minute, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, boys, hold it. I'm sorry, boys, I'm sorry, but we gotta cancel the festivities. Cancel! 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 Keep quiet, now hold it. This is Albie's first night on the base, and... Well, I just don't feel that it's right we should go out in a toot and leave him here all alone. Oh, no, don't go on and skip where sailors, not oh, nursemaids. Oh, come on. Well, I'll tell you, Skip, uh, I could work on my supply requisition. Why don't you guys go ahead and I'll stay here and babysit? Hey, that's a great idea. <laughs> Mr. Parker, you're a prince. Now, how about it, Skip? Well, it was all set up, and we did promise the chief. Hey! hey, 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 hey hold it, will ya? I, I, I'll tell you what we do, Chuck. Uh, you just tell uh, Orvi uh, that uh, we had to leave on a secret mission. That's it. A uh, very hush hush, okay? Come on, girls, let's go. Come on. So long, you guys. Uh, bring me some poi if I got any doggy bags. Uh, and some Parker. Uh, yeah. Oh, um, boy, I'm working for you, sailor. I hope your bunk's ready for inspection. <laughs> Sir, where were Commander McHale and the fellows going with all those girls? Uh, girls? Uh, the, the, you, you saw girls? Uh, well, oh, well, then, uh, <clears throat> you got it, all right. Yeah, you got the jungle DTs. Yeah. <laughs> Happens to you when I've been out here for a long time. Yeah, I start seeing girls everywhere. Yeah, I had a bad case of it once. Yes, sir, you wouldn't believe it, but I went with a palm tree for three weeks before they cured me. They just got here, sir. <clears throat> you did. <clears throat> oh, well, uh, say, uh, your bunk made up for inspection? Oh, well, yeah, that's how they taught us to make them in boot camp. It is, huh? <clears throat> well, it'll never pass inspection around here. Uh, come on over to Gruber's bunk. I'll show you how it should be made up. I uh, see that? That's how it's supposed to be made up. See how smooth that blanket is? Yes, sir, boy. Not a wrinkle in there. That's the way we, uh... Uh... <clears throat> Say, boy, those sheets are really starched, aren't they? <laughs> you probably got the uh, corners tucked right underneath. Uh... That's a dice table. <clears throat> it is. I mean, it is. No, no, uh, no. Uh, actually, uh, uh, that's a battle map. Yeah, you haven't probably seen one of those before. Uh, see, those were grid coordinates on it. Yeah, probably notice the element. Any craps on it? <laughs> uh, first time you've been in combat, kid? But that looks just like a dice <clears throat> table. It is. Well, uh, look. So, you know what? You better shave or I'm going to put you on report. Oh, but I, I just shaved a month ago, sir. <laughs> you did. Uh, well, your five o'clock fuzz begin to show through, and I'll tell you what. You go shave, and then come on over to my place, and I'll uh, teach you some hand-to-hand -hand combat. You never know when somebody's going to sneak up on you. Ha! See? <laughs> Had you. There we go. See that? That chair was out to get me. Notice how I... Yeah? Huh? <laughs> okay, Shorty. Take ten. Hurry right back. Hey, what's that light doing on the radio shack? Captain Binghamton? Sir, can you hear me? Hello? Hello, will you stop hellowing and speak up, boy? Speak, speak. <laughs> yes, sir. It's condition applesauce. Applesauce. Hey. Oh, d don't you please. Please, I I'm just a boy, only 18. Honest, ask my mother. Yeah, I mean, now look, don't change the subject. How come you're tinkering around with the radio? The radio? Oh, the radio. Well, well, well I, I was trying to get the uh, the Guy Lombardo show. Yeah, he played at my high school prom. He did? I mean, oh, oh, you mean you're homesick? Yeah. Oh, why didn't you say so? Here, I'll get Tokyo Rose for you. Next to Hirohito, Guy Lombardo's her favorite. <laughs> of course, you got to promise not to surrender. Oh, yes, sir, I, I promise. Paddle! Oh, boo, I lost contact with him. But, sir, he did manage to say applesauce, which is our code word, meaning that he's uncovered some important evidence. I know what it means. Who do you think gave it to him, you boo? Yes, sir. So I signaled a rendezvous with him on the double, too. Uh, I think we may have something on the care this time. Let's Good. Oh, wait. Oh, sir. Oh, no, I didn't think so. Well, I'm sorry Tokyo Rose didn't play any Lombardo records, but... That was a pretty catchy rendition of Pomp and Circumstance, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, thanks for letting me listen, Mr. Parker. Uh, I think I'll be going to bed now. Huh? Oh, good. Oh, oh, say, uh, listen. There's a lot of nips around here, but, uh... You don't have to be nervous with a combat veteran like me around. Man, when they show up, I could, uh... Hey! What was that? Uh, what, what, what's what? What, what's what? Uh, the blinking... Blink I mean, the, bl the blinking light over there. Well, I, I don't see anything, sir. Uh, you don't? No. Oh. Hey, there it goes again! Oh, boy! It, it's a nip invasion! Here, 
is that stupid kid? Why doesn't he blink back? Believe me, sir, there's no one out there. Yeah, well, we'll find out. Okay, you nip, we know you're out there. Parker, get down. <laughs> How are you gonna play coy, huh? All right, well, blast them out of the water. Get to the gun. Mr. Parker. Get to the gun. <laughs> Give me a gun. <laughs> Mr. Parker, please don't shoot. I I'm sure there's no one out there. Will you stand back, fellow, and pull yourself together? It's them or us. Oh, sir, we've been hit. I We're sinking. It. We're sinking. Sir, just sit there, stick your finger in the dike. Sir, I can't get him off. Oh, I'm I'm down. Down. I'm I'm down. Down. I down. I There's the whole sir, I can't get him off. Get on just me. Me. Help, help me. Help me, sir. I oh. Uh, we're going down! Oh, oh. Hey! I got him! They're kaput! Try and bonsai Edson Parker, will you? <laughs> Jack! What's going on here? What's all the shooting about? You all right, kid? Yes, sir. It's all right, Skip. I uh, just knocked off a nip invasion, that's all. What? what? Oh, by yourself? Come on, Mr. Parker. No, really. I saw this blinking light, and when they didn't answer my challenge, well, I'll let them have it. Hey, Skip, look! <laughs> What happened? Are you all right, sir? You. How can I be all right? Parker, you maniac. You're on that trigger. You. <laughs> Riddle me. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, wait a minute. Just a minute, Captain. Now, what, what were you doing out in the middle of that lagoon at this hour of the night, sir? And then what's with the blinker signal, sir? I wasn't blinking. I was, uh, uh, fishing. Fishing? Oh, come on, Captain. Fess up now. You were trying to sneak up on us, weren't you, sir? <laughs> Hell, you're calling me a liar, me, your commanding officer? Oh, no, sir. But uh, the commanding officer ought to know that Mr. Parker had every right to fire at you, sir, when you didn't answer his challenge. And there isn't a court-martial board in the Navy, sir, that won't back him to the hilt. <laughs> Wait till they find out that you were fishing without a license. <laughs> oh, shut that fat little lip of yours. <laughs> <laughs> now, Captain, don't worry. Now, we'll get you out of those wet clothes. Boys, get the boat ready. Come on, boys, let's go. Captain, uh, sir, I, I'm sorry. I, I tried my door. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I don't want to hear a word out of you. You understand? Now, what word out of you? <laughs> Willie, what'd you cook this swill with? A blowtorch? Anybody know how many calories there are in ashes? <laughs> they ought to declare this whole breakfast a disaster area. Hey, Willie, you gotta be kidding. Barbecued orange juice? Hey, look, when I said I'd cook for you, I didn't promise it'd be good. Look, Skip, we better get you-know-who back pretty fast before we all die of starvation. Yeah, we punished ourselves enough. Thanks a lot anyway, Willie. Hey, look, kid, I wanna talk to you. Look, when we heard that you were coming aboard, we had to get rid of our cook, see? But uh, as you can see, it just ain't working out, is it? <laughs> so now, uh, before we bring that cook back, I gotta know something. Can we trust you with a great big secret? Hey, that's a 73. Somebody's starting up my engine. It's Shorty, old boy. It's that blasted chipper. Shorty, no! Come on, get Shorty! That's a no-no. Oh, for the love of Mike. Shorty has a Navy boat. The civilians aren't allowed. <laughs> Holy jumping Hannah. Shorty, come back here with that boat. <laughs> come back, Shorty. Bring your boat. Got the engine. Come back, Jack. <laughs> well, would you believe it? <laughs> Who's ever gonna believe that a chimp stole a PT-73? A banana-eating chimp! <laughs> Boy, this is the living end. Yeah, the end for us, Skip. The wreck it for sure. Why couldn't he swipe hubcaps like the other kids? <laughs> hey, I know. I'll get in the radio and order him back. Are you kidding? A chimp can't work a radio? What am I talking about? A chimp can't run a PT boat either. Come on, let's go. <laughs> that twerp tuttle. First, he almost gets us killed, and then he doesn't even have the brains to report back in. Oh, I'll get that. He's probably done. Now, it's about time, you jackass. Another two minutes, and I... Oh, Admiral Rogers. <laughs> oh, ain't this fine day, Admiral? Well, not bad for a jackass. <laughs> oh, never mind the apology. I'll take care of you later. Right now, there's a knit sub patrolling the area. I want you to send the 73 boat out after it right away. 
But, but why the 73, Admiral? I mean, we have a lot of other splendid PT boats. I said I wanted the 73, Captain. Now do as I ordered. Over and out. Or should I say, hee-haw, hee-haw. <laughs> yeah, that's cute, Admiral. Love your sense of humor. Love it. You, uh, Admiral? <laughs> oh, fogey. Imagine I'm sending Mikhail out on a mission just when I'm ready to pounce. Oh, I'd like to tell that Rogers a thing or two. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. I'll get him right back and you can tell him. Would you get Admiral Wait, Rogers? Wait, I got If you want to phone somebody, phone a bone specialist. <laughs> Aren't you? Oh, no, sir. <laughs> Uncle Chucky to Shorty. Uncle Chucky to Shorty. Hello, Shorty. Uh, come in. Hey, did you hear that? He hears me. He hears me. Uh, now, look, Shorty. You bring that boat right back or I'm going to paddle you good. You hear me, Shorty? No, I'm not going to stand for any monkey business. You get right back here. <laughs> Of all the miserable goof ups, honestly, in all my days in this man's navy, I have never seen. Boys, if that's Captain Binghamton, we're cooked. Uh, Mikhail here? Mikhail? Yes, sir. Conflate reports a nip sub loose in your area. Go out and get it. I go out and get it. Uh, well, wait a minute, sir. Wait a minute. I beg your pardon, sir. Did you say go out uh, on the 73? No, use a skateboard. <laughs> now, the Navy is paying you a dollar and 38 cents an hour. Now, go on your keep. <laughs> Captain, wait a minute. Please don't hang up. Please don't hang... <laughs> well, that's it, boys. We're as good as dead. Unless you feel like waiting out after that nip sub. Portsmouth, here we come. All a bum luck. Done in by a chimp. Now, look, Chuck. You gotta talk that chimp into bringing that boat back, or we've had it. <clears throat> now look, Shorty, bring that boat back here. Hey, uh, <clears throat> look, Shorty, if you bring the boat back, I'll give you a nice big yellow banana. <laughs> banana. <laughs> now what? <clears throat> Shorty, you get away from those guns. Those bullets cost money. Those are real shells exploding. Yeah, the 73's under fire. Oh, no, you don't think you could be there. Oh, wait a minute. That nip sub. Five will get your ten if they spotted the 73. <laughs> Shorty, you get out of there fast, you hear me? Bring back that boat, you dumb ape, or I'll strangle you with my bare hands, you hear me? <laughs> Don't let it be the 73. <laughs> now look, Shorty, you come in, you hear me? This is your ensign speaking. Get it, Mr. Parker. The radio's dead. Well, that's it. 73's gone. And they went down with monkey in command. I gotta go out and shoot myself. Why bother? Old lead bottom will save us all the trouble. Hello? Get me Captain Binghamton and hurry! Ah, poor Shorty, he didn't have a chance. A better chance than we'll have when lead bottom gets his mitts on us. Say that again. Hey, what's Orvy doing on the field farm? Captain Binghamton, this is Orvy. Applesauce! Applesauce! <sighs> Hey, Orvie, what are you doing? What the devil are you up to? Mikhail? Mikhail? It was Mikhail's voice. He cut him off. That means he's still on the island. He didn't go out after that sub as I ordered him to, and that's mutiny. Oh, sir, then you can have them shot. Oh, you've won, you've won, sir, you've won, you've won. Boy, you won. Calm down, boy, calm down. But we better get over there right away and try to save Tuttle. They'll probably kill him for squealing on you. Yeah. <laughs> 
sir. I, I, I didn't want to spy on you, honest, but, but he made me. C Captain Binghamton made me. Yeah, I'll bet. How could you think on your own crew? Look, just give me five minutes alone with him, Skip. Just five minutes. All right, all right. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. It wasn't a kid's fault. That Captain Brown beat him into it. Right, kid? Yes, sir. All right. Now, what we got to worry about is... <clears throat> oh, no! <laughs> oh, I don't believe it! Oh, boy! Holy cow, I must be going blind! Ah, you must be beautiful! Shit is sick after all! Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Hold it, hold it, hold it! He's gonna ram the dock! Oh, no, I can't look! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! That doggone monkey brought it in just as good as I can! <laughs> Come on, boys! Well, how she got away from the nips? Well, we'll discuss that with him later. I tell you what, right now, boys, we gotta get out to see and get that nip sub before Lead Bottom finds out. Hey, Skip, out. look, enemy closing fast. <laughs> oh no, of all the miserable timing. Shorty, go. All right, you pirates, freeze. Don't move. You're all under arrest. <laughs> and the uh, high captain. <laughs> Puddle, are you still alive? Can't you do anything right? I was hoping to hang a murder rap on these pirates along with mutiny and desertion. I have a big pardon, sir. Did you say mutiny and desertion? Yes, I said mutiny and desertion. And don't you bat your big baby blues at me, Mikhail. You did not go out after that nip sub as I ordered you to, and I've got a witness to that tunnel. Uh, yes, sir. Now, sound off, lad. Did the PT-73 or did it not go out as ordered? Oh, well, the... Uh... Pick up, boys. Pick up, pick up, pick up. <laughs> the PT-73 did go out, sir. It what? It went out. Well, you want to feel the engines? They're still hot. Okay, <laughs> You brainwashed the kid, didn't you? You poisoned that poor, underdeveloped little mind. All right, Tuttle, you're gonna rue the day that you finked out on me, Carpenter. Lock him up with the rest of Now, them. now, wait just a minute. Now, hold on there. Tom Fleet calling PT-73. Come in, 7-3. Hey, hey, let me have that radio, will he? Here you go, Skip. Are we tuned in? Yes, yeah, Skip. Uh, this is PT-73. Come in, Tom Fleet. Over. This is Admiral Rogers, Mikhail. Admiral Rogers, I'm so glad you called. This is Captain Binghamton. Wait to hear what they've done now, Admiral. Will you get off of the mic? I know all about it. Now put McHale back on there. Oh, good, sir. I'm glad you know all about it. You're going to get it, McHale. He knows all about it. Lay it in on, Admiral. Give him a good one. Hello, McHale. Good news. Reconnaissance just reported the 7-3 sunk that nip tub. Congratulations. That's a job well done. <laughs> we sunk the sub? You're not kidding? How can I sink the sub, Admiral, and everyone out? I'm putting you and your gallant men in for a unit citation. And keep up the good work. Oh, yes, sir, and thank you very much, sir. Over and out, sir. Not a unit citation. How can I hang a bunch of heroes? Uh, you can say that again, Captain. Now then, uh, what did you have on your mind, Captain? Yeah, there must be something else you can hate us for. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Nobody else opened their mouth. Not one peep out of anybody. If I hear so much as a peep, I'm going to have you all for insubordination. <laughs> Get that man's name and... Oh, no, it's that little monster again. I'll hang him from the... No, 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 Captain, Captain, look, it's only a chip. Wait, Captain, wait! Don't, 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 Captain, don't! Don't, 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 you did. Uh, well, your five o'clock fuzz begin to show through, and I'll tell you what. You go shave, and then come on over to my place, and I'll uh, teach you some hand-to-hand -hand combat. You never know when somebody's going to sneak up on you. Ha! Ah, see? <laughs> Had you. There we go. See that? That chair was out to get me. Notice how I... Yeah? Huh? Okay, shorty. Take ten. Hurry right back. Hey, what's that light doing on the radio shack?
Captain Binghamton? Sir, can you hear me? Hello? Hello, will you stop hallowing and speak up, boy? Speak, speak. <laughs> yes, sir. It's condition applesauce. Applesauce. Hey. Oh, don't, don't you, please. Please, I'm just a boy, only 18. Honest, ask my mother. Yeah, I mean, now look, don't change the subject. How come you're tinkering around with the radio? The radio? Oh, the radio. Well, well I, I was trying to get the uh, the Guy Lombardo show. Yeah, he played at my high school prom. He did? I mean, oh, oh, you mean you're homesick? Yeah. Oh, why didn't you say so? Here, I'll get Tokyo Rose for you. Next to Hirohito, Guy Lombardo's her favorite. <laughs> of course, you got to promise not to surrender. Oh, yes, sir, I, I promise. Paddle! Oh, boob, I lost contact with him. But, sir, he did manage to say applesauce, which is our code word, meaning that he's uncovered some important evidence. I know what that means. Who do you think gave it to him, you boob? Yes, sir. So I signaled a rendezvous with him on the double, too. Uh, I think we may have something on the care this time. Let's Good. Wait a oh, sir. Oh, no, I didn't think so. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry Tokyo Rose didn't play any Lombardo records, but that was a pretty catchy rendition of Pomp and Circumstance, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh... Okay, here's where we get rid of the shoe clerks. I'll see your nickel and raise you a quarter. I'm out. Oh, oh, come on, Shorty, that's not funny. Can't you control him? Now, if you don't behave, we'll trade you in for a cocker spaniel. Remember that. <laughs> All right, how about it, Mr. Parker? You in or out? Oh, well, first I gotta ask a question. Um, four aces better than that full house I had last time. There we go again. Hey, you. There you are, Mr. Put that gun down. Hey, look out! Hey, don't point that at me! He pulls that trigger. Now, now, easy. Easy, shorty, easy now. Easy now. You hand over the gun. Hand it over. Ah! Well, those fiends, they're trying to kill me again. Oh, no! Lead bottom! <laughs> Are you all right? You killers. You shot your captain. You tried to gun me down in cold blood. Sir. Sir, look at your hat. Oh, the hole. Find the hole. Am I leaking? Carpenter, you'll call a short patrol. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Now, now, Captain, look. Nobody shot at you, sir. It was just a chimp who swiped Mr. Parker's 45 and it went off by accident. That's all. Yeah, honest, Captain. It wasn't Shorty's fault. He didn't mean to take a shot at you. Now, Shorty, you tell him you're sorry. <laughs> That's Chimpanese for I'm sorry. Chimpanese? Parker, you get rid of this furry little delinquent right away, and that's an order. One baboon around here is enough. Give me that hat, that's an order. Give me the hat. Shorty, come back here. Shorty, come... give the hat back. Shorty! Give the hat back. Would you look at that, Carpenter? Would you look at that? Now, there has got to be some way that I can get some incriminating evidence on McHale and his murderers. Some way. Some way. Sir. Uh, uh, Captain, Captain Binghamton? What? No, I'm General Custer, and I just got back from Little Bighorn. What do you want? Why, 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 why? Oh, Seaman Orville Tuttle reporting for duty, sir. For what? Duty. Duty. Dude, we don't run a kindergarten here. Yes, sir, he's the new crew member for the PT-73. Pete? McHale? He's... This naive, apple-cheeked youth is going to join McHale and that scroungy bunch of cutthroats? Yes, sir, I, I have my orders for you right here, sir. And, oh, and, and Mother sent you these, sir. They're oatmeal cookies. She baked them herself. She baked them herself? Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, no, they're, they're just for you, sir. Will you stop with your mother already? Now, I am not about to send some little infant like you over there to join McHale and his mafia. So you just take your toys and you toddle over to the processing shack. Oh, uh, no, sir, please, please. I, I joined the Navy to see action, sir. I'll, I'll do anything you say, anything. Did you hear that, Carl? Oh. You'll do anything I say. If that isn't the most... The most ridiculous thing I ever heard of, sir. I can see that it's ridiculous Wait to send a, a young Wait, boy like that. Shut up, like shut up, shut up. Oh, well, I thought... Oh, in front of a brave young man. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Son, you say you'll do anything I say to see action? Oh, yes, sir. That, that's all I've dreamed about, sir, since I kissed Mother goodbye and gave her my sugar ration card, sir. Oh, gave her your sugar card? Gave her that last. Uh, well, boy, I'll tell you, you're going to see action. I am going to make you my personal spy. You're going to infiltrate enemy lines, and you're going to help me get information that'll wipe them out. S -s spy, sir? Well, gosh, I, I don't think I make a very good spy, sir. I, I, they didn't teach us Japanese in boot camp. Said anything about Japanese. I'm talking about the real enemy, Mikhail. 
Yes, but sir, I, I only signed up to fight the Japanese, sir. Yeah. Check out my supply requisition. Why don't you guys go ahead and I'll stay here and babysit? Hey, that's a great idea. Mr. Parker, you're a prince. Now, how about it, Skip? Well, it was all set up and we did promise the chief. Hey! <laughs> Hold it, will ya? I, I, I'll tell you what we do, Chuck. Uh, you just tell uh, Orvi uh, that uh, we had to leave on a secret mission. That's it. A uh, very hush hush, okay? Come on, girls, let's go. Come on. So long, you guys. Uh, bring me some poi if I got any doggy bags. Uh, and some Parker. Uh, oh, um, boy, I'm working for you, sailor. I hope your bunk's ready for inspection. <laughs> Sir, where were Commander McHale and the fellows going with all those girls? Uh, girls? Uh, the, the, you, you saw girls? Uh, well, oh, well, then, uh, <clears throat> you got it, all right. Yeah, you got the jungle DTs. Yeah. <laughs> Happens to you when you've been out here for a long time. Yeah, I start seeing girls everywhere. Now, I had a bad case of it once. Yes, sir, you wouldn't believe it, but I went with a palm tree for three weeks before they cured me. I just got here, sir. <clears throat> you did. <clears throat> oh, well, uh, say, uh, your bunk made up for inspection? Well, yeah, that's how they taught us to make them a boot camp. It is, huh? <clears throat> well, it'll never pass inspection around here. Uh, come on over to Gruber's bunk. I'll show you how it should be made up. I uh, see that? That's how it's supposed to be made up. See how smooth that blanket is? Yes, sir, boy. Not a wrinkle in there. That's the way we, uh... Uh... <clears throat> Say, boy, those sheets are really starched, aren't they? <laughs> He's probably got the uh, corners tucked right under the... Uh... That's a dice table. <clears throat> it is. I mean, it is. No, no, uh, no. Uh, actually, uh, uh, that's a battle map. Yeah, you haven't probably seen one of those before. Uh, see, those were grid coordinates on it. Yeah, probably notice the element. Any craps on it? <laughs> uh, first time you've been in combat, kid? But that looks just like a dice <clears throat> table. It is. Well, uh, look. So, you know what? You better shave or I'm going to put you on report. But I, I just shaved a month ago, sir. Don't fight anybody, I tell you to fight. If you don't, that's mutiny. Now I'll have you in front of a firing squad. Firing squad? But, sir, I'm too young to die. I, I haven't even been tattooed yet. Now, stop <laughs> sniveling, boy. Stop sniveling. You do a good job of spying, and I'll uh, I'll treat you to a tattoo. Get you a nice big heart. We'll put it there. We'll put mother on it. Yeah? Get your gear, lad. You're going to love this. It's going to be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Come on up here, matey. Uh, welcome aboard, boy. <laughs> I'm your new commanding officer. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Commander Quinn McHale. Seaman Orville Tuttle reporting for duty, sir. Oh, well, no, no, no. Forget that jazz, boy. Yeah, we're very informal around here. Yes, sir. Boys, meet Orvi. <laughs> Relax, boy. There's nothing to be nervous about. Nervous? I'm not nervous. Oh, what the devil? Hey, Skip, look! <laughs> hey, Chuck, what happened? Oh, sure, he stole my gun, but don't worry. He's only got five shots left. Uh, <clears throat> four. <laughs> oh, VJ Day, where are you? Here, give me a hand here, will you? Boy, that Orby's really something, oh, These draft Please, boards are bro. sure robbing the crate. Oh, yeah. 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 Where's Orville? He made us wait out here while he gets dressed. What? <laughs> Must be an only child. Hey, Skip, do we have to keep him? Why don't we put him up for adoption, huh? Yeah, now, now, wait a minute, you guys. Just a minute. Look, this is his first time in a war zone. He's a little spooked up. Ah, oh, the kid's gonna be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Holy mackerel, I forgot all about it. Tonight's Lou out here. Wait a minute, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, boys, hold it. I'm sorry, boys, I'm sorry, but we gotta cancel the festivities. Cancel! 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 Keep quiet, now hold it. This is Orby's first night on the base, and, well, I just don't feel that it's right we should go out in a toot and leave him here all alone. Oh, no, doggone it, Skip, we're sailors, not oh, nursemaids. come on. Well, I'll tell you, Skip, uh, I could 